Have you ever wondered how these block line designs are made? These are referred as retro lines or 3D perspective lines. Look at these top layer shapes of different color and these middle ones. They trick the brain into thinking it's 3D. Creating the regular shapes that are available in PowerPoint is easy. By looking at the upper shapes, you might think there is a trapezoid shape that can be used, but it does not help. You can adjust the width of the top edge, but cannot change the angle of the side lines to bring that perspective. In this video, I'm going to show you three simple PowerPoint hacks that lets you make these block lines in perspective and how to create the edge shadow effects that gives the 3D look. To get started, draw the desired number of boxes or shapes. For this design, I am doing with 5 boxes. You can have them all together or with a small gap. Paint each box with different colors. Next, duplicate all those five boxes by pressing Ctrl D in your keyboard and increase the height of these boxes. This would give a close-up look. Align them with equal vertical distribution. Next, make another 5 copies of these thin boxes and place them to the right side of it. Here comes your first hack. To create those perspective lines, you need to connect the right edges of the thin boxes to the left edges of the big boxes. Before we do the first hack, zoom into the slide as much as possible so all the edges to connect are visible. Now select a box from the middle, go up to the shape format menu, click edit shape and then edit points. This brings four black dots on the four edges of the box. The left side edges are already connected. So carefully hover over the mouse to the black dots on the right edge of the box. Click and drag them over to the left edge of the big box. That joins the small thin box to the big box. Keep repeating this to all the remaining boxes and connect the small boxes with the respective big box. If you click and drag from somewhere other than the black dot, you won't get a straight line. But you can use that to make freeform designs. I have another video that exactly shows how to create freeform shapes with the same technique. Do check it out. I will leave the video link in the description for you to watch. Alright, to get back to our design, repeat this process of joining the edges from the thin box to the big boxes. Here comes the second hack. To get that 3D look, edge shadows needs to be added. For that, first select a box, right click and select format shape. This would open the side panel. Here under fill section, select gradient. From the direction, select a horizontal one. For the gradient stops, three pins are needed. For the 
pin colors, select the paint drop down and select eyedropper. Click anywhere in the upper block line to match the color. Now adjust the amount of edge shadow that is required by dragging the gradient stop pin. For the third pin, select the same color, but wait, here is the trick. To create the edge shadow of the same color, from the paint drop down, select more colors. This opens up a color selection box. Here you can see the exact same color that was selected in the color spectra. Use that small triangle handle and drag it little down to get the darker shade of the same color. Now you get that edge shadow effect. Repeat the process for the rest of the color boxes. Once you are done with all the color boxes, you can use the format painter to apply the same effect on other boxes of the same color. Here comes the third hack. You can use this design to create graphs too. Imagine if the right edge of the block line looks like an arrow. To do that, select the box from the shape format menu, click edit shape and click change shape. And now select the desired shape. Click the rest of the boxes and on your keyboard, select control Y to redo the same action. Change the length of each arrow to different lengths. Optionally, add business related pictures and associated data to complete your chart. I hope you found this video helpful. For more such useful videos, subscribe to Designer by Design and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are published. See you in another video. Bye now.